Hello everyone, only the repair dude is here again. This is part one on how to hacking toss your machine. In this part, I'm going to show you how to make your own bootable USB drive for hacking tosh. You will need a 32GB USB drive and the EFI folder for your machine. I have the EFI folder on my desktop for my machine, which is the ASUS UX32VD. I downloaded it from GitHub and modified it. You can Google your model Hackintosh EFI folder for the EFI folder. First, open this management. Search for that, click create and format at this partition. Delete the partition of your USB drive. Please do backup all data on the USB drive first before doing so. Right click. Click delete volume. Click yes. Once done, create a 200 megabytes partition. Go to new simple volume. Next, set the simple volume size to 200 megabytes. Click next. Assign the drive letter. Click next. Name the volume label as boot loader. Next and finish. You open this volume, so minimize this management and copy your EFI folder to this partition. Allow it to be copied. Once done copying, close Windows Explorer, go back to this management, create another partition. Use all the space available, assign a drive letter, name the volume as Mac OS, and click Next, Finish. Once you're done, Close the Explorer window and close this management. Open a Mac OS Catalina virtual machine. Open VirtualBox, open Mac OS. I already created the VM with the Mac OS this image. You also need the VM to create the Mac OS installation media. Log in to the Mac OS VM. Let's close these dialogs first. Once on your Mac OS VM, log on. We direct your USB drive to the Mac OS VM. Wait for the USB drive to appear. Once the USB drive appear, you can go to the App Store links for the Mac OS installers. I open my notes. As it contains the links, I will give those links in the description, so not to worry. I'll be installing Mac OS Catalina. Click on the Catalina App Store link. Allow the App Store to open. Click get. This should trigger the software update. Allow it to find the update. Click download.
this will take some time depending on your internet connection speed. So just wait. Okay, the Mac OS installer for Catalina is done installing. Okay, now quit this installer, try to quit it. Click force quit to close the installer. Close software update, close Mac App Store. The next step is to write the Mac OS installer to the other partition. I'll go back to my notes. I'll be going to the USB installer maker instruction by Apple. Go down, open a terminal window. Once terminal windows open, Copy the entire command for whichever macOS version you want to install. For me, it will be Catalina. Paste in the terminal. Rename my volume as macOS. Press enter. It will prompt you for macOS password, which is your macOS VM password. Enter your macOS VM password. Press enter. Press Y to start and enter. Allow it to erase the disk and install the macOS installer onto the other partition. This will take some time. During my few rounds of testing, it had issues with detecting the Mac OS installer and trackpad not working. I already modified the EFI folder to fix the above issues to contain the trackpad tags and the correct HFS driver. Also, it had graphical glitches and even black screen. For this issue, try booting from the USB again as it is a known issue for me which is the graphical glitches when using Hacking torch on this particular model, which is the Asus UX32VD. I'll be providing the E5 folder in the link in the description for my model UX32VD. Enough of the talking. Let's go to the USB boot to test the installer disk. First, turn on the computer, access the BIOS by pressing F2, go to security, make sure. The secure boot controls are disabled and the secure boot states are disabled. Save changes and exit. Hit ESC to access the boot menu. Go to UFI Toshiba for my case as this is my USB stick. Allow to load to Clover. For my case is Clover. Select boot macOS install. Allow it to load. This is the random graphical glitches. So I'll turn off the computer. Turn on the computer and access the boot menu. As I said, this is a known issue for this laptop for me. Alright, Mac OS installer loads, track, test the trackpad, it works. Now let's test the keyboard using the terminal. Keyboard works. 
if booted successfully and trackpads and keyboard works, you can move on to part 2 which is to prepare the computer for installation. Part 2 is coming soon so please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so, no, so you know when I upload the video. I hope you enjoy my tutorial.